Hey, brother! Ben, today I wanted to talk about tattoos. I mean, not because I'm getting one or anything. Although, what would I get? <gasps> Face beard! You can really get some good pondering done with a beard, Ben. So here's what I find odd about tattoos, Ben. Like, despite them not being unhealthy or a danger to anyone else, they still have this, like, enormous social stigma attached to them. It's seriously almost on the same level as, like, smoking or gambling or tanning beds. How dare you show your handsome face beard in here? Take it outside! Besides not being harmful, though, I think what really makes a difference is that, like, you can just try out smoking or alcohol or something. Don't knock it if you haven't tried it. Mm, my beard is itching. Cause we've all talked to that person who's like, oh, I don't drink alcohol. I have just as much fun watching. Uh, just as much fun? Uh, I don't doubt that you still had fun, if not even more fun, but if you haven't tried it, I don't think that you can accurately say that you had just as much fun. Well, my dad is an alcoholic, so I don't drink. Oh my God, I'm sorry, I didn't know. But you don't get to try out a tattoo. You don't get to test permanent decisions. Like, I could walk around with this awesome temporary Harry Potter tattoo on my head just to, like, gauge reaction, and maybe it would be good or bad, but I wouldn't really get to, like, feel the commitment of having it there forever. In the back of my mind, I would always know I'd be able to wash it off if I wanted to. But seriously, who would want to get rid of this? X! And I'm not gonna lie, Ben, I've definitely been one of those people who judges other people with tattoos, but a lot of times it's my friends who I feel like have definitely gotten them too young. Like, if I got a tattoo when I was 18, by now I can tell you that most of my interests are vastly different, at least in a permanent setting. If I was gonna get a tattoo, I would really want it to mean something to me. And I think that's my holdup and biggest pet peeve with tattoos is when I see things that clearly don't mean anything to the person. Like, whatever crap they're selling, I'm not buying it. I don't believe those cherries on your midriff or for your grandma. I don't believe that butterfly on your lower back is you evolving into a woman or something. Just keep telling yourself that. Then answer me this. Why are people still getting tramp stamps? Like, I understand that once upon a time it might have been very trendy and not commonly known as a tramp stamp, but these days, who do you think you're kidding? Everyone calls it a tramp stamp. Like, you are purposefully and permanently putting that on you and calling yourself a tramp. On the flip side of that though, Ben, I've met people who have perfect tattoos. Tattoos that are an exact extension of that person's personality from the placement on the body to the art itself to the color to the story behind it. I just believe it's supposed to be there. In fact, I think I'd be more surprised if that exact image wasn't on their body in that exact spot. Like, doesn't this just make perfect sense to you? Then I asked some Super Carlin friends on Twitter today what they would get for tattoos and they had some pretty cool answers. One person said the quadratic equation, which I thought was awesome. Someone said the Triforce from Zelda. Boom. And a lot of people said they would get quotes, which I think is tricky because it has to be like a really good quote. But if I did one, I think it would have to be from Zay Frank and it goes, my pencils are sharp enough. Even the dull ones will make a mark. I also like the idea of a hashtag tattoo, like hashtag DFTBA or hashtag SCB. So Ben, obviously my question for you and everybody else is, what do you think of tattoos? Are you offended by them? Would you get one? What would you get and where would you put it? Let me know down in the towel section below and I will see you in another life, brother. How great of an idea is the beard face tattoo? And by great, I mean like not so good. And by not so good, I mean horrible. And by horrible, I mean if I saw someone walking down the street with a beard face tattoo, I would high five them because that takes guts. But then I, then I would look back and think that was not smart.